Frank Fritz hasn't appeared on History's American Pickers after mysteriously disappearing following an episode back in March 2020. The TV personality was missing in action ever since and viewers have been constantly speculating about the reason behind his abrupt mid-season exit. But now, Frank is back with a bang. His 65-pound weight loss is making huge headlines as he resurfaced for the first time in a year. Posing near his $155,000 Iowa farmhouse, where he has been living for the past 11 years, the 55-year-old debuted a shockingly thin frame compared to his heavier build that fans have been accustomed to seeing in the show for over a decade. Here's everything you need to know about Frank's shocking weight loss. Frank attributed his unrecognizable weight loss to switching to a healthier lifestyle since he is suffering from Crohn's, a chronic inflammatory bowel disease. Talking about his weight loss journey to the sun, Frank stated, The weight loss is me watching what I'm eating so I can keep my disease under control the best I can. I'm just eating healthy. Divulging further details, he continued, After a while, I started watching what I'm doing, and I'm doing a little more walking. I keep pretty busy around here too, taking care of the grass and getting rid of the weeds. He also disclosed that he has been sober for around 10 months. Not drinking helps with the weight loss because when you drink and eat, I'm not dieting. Blaming his heavy drinking on his bitter split from ex-fiance Deanne Bankson, he said, I tried to drink her away. When questioned about his return to the show that made him famous, Frank replied that it is to the network if he will return to American Pickers or not. He also cleared the controversy regarding him quitting the show. I didn't leave the show. I finished shooting and then I had a little back surgery and the pandemic came. Talking about his current back condition, he revealed, My back is doing perfect. I had a couple of rods put in there. It was from lifting stuff all the time, he said, implying that working on the show was what led to his back pain, since he was the only one who did the heavy lifting on the show. As for viewers who were eager to see Frank share the small screen alongside partner Mike again, all we can say is don't get your hopes high just yet. Hinting that not all is well between the former partners, he confessed, I would like to come back to the show, but we will see. I was doing it for 11 years, but there is a lot of controversy going on right now. The alleged feud between the former friends who have known each other for 40 years has become so bad, they haven't even spoken to each other in over two years. Frank revealed, I haven't talked to Mike in two years. He knew my back was messed up, but he didn't call me up and ask how I was doing. That's just how it is. While Frank wasn't too eager to divulge the exact details of his falling out with Mike, he hinted that tensions arose over their shared stardom. He explained, The show is tilted toward him 1000%. I can't even bend that far down to show you how much. Comparing his equation with Mike to the Aerosmiths, he said, That's fine. It's like you've got Aerosmith, and there's Steven Tyler, and he's the front man. I found my spot. I'm the second, and he's number one on the show. There's no problem with me. Maybe he does have a problem but he also stated it would be hard to put the show on after not talking to somebody for two years. He also admitted that during his time off the show, he hasn't been picking out much lately. I've been working on a couple motorcycles and stuff, but that's about it, he continued. I was in Sturgis Motorcycle Rally in South Dakota in August last year. I have been going to Sturgis for 40 years now. I was there for the 50th, 60th, 70th, 80th, and 90th anniversaries, and every year in between that. Proudly reflecting on the moment he became an integral part of the Sturgis world, he said, I just got inducted two years ago to the Sturgis Hall of Fame. Frank has remained off social media, despite frequent updates being posted to his verified Facebook page. Dismissing Facebook as fake, he stated, I've never posted anything on there, so everything that's on there is a lie. I have no idea who's posting that stuff. I don't even have a computer. We are shocked by the unrecognizable transformation of our favorite American picker. What about you guys? Thank you for watching our video. Don't forget to like, share, and comment. Subscribe to our channel for more great content.